Uh, Rissa, your dad came in the stream today and it told me to spell IHOP fast and say Ness after. <laughs> that's that's because you tried to get him with candy yesterday. I was FaceTiming my dad yesterday and you don't un you don't understand. You don't understand the fear from what I heard from my dad on FaceTime. It was literally, I'm talking to him and he goes, hey, what does candy mean, by the way? And, I, and my light flashed from my eyes. I was like, oh no, it, I have to explain it to him. Am I going to get got by my dad? Am I going to get got by my dad? And I was like, what, what? I was like, what's candy? I was like, what do you mean candy? Or something like that. And he goes, I don't know. HK was talking about candy in chat. And then he goes, oh no, not you, Papa Riz. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I can explain it. What's up guys welcome back to binging with babish where this week we're taking a look at the tortilla sombrero from despicable me 2. for What's the up, record girl? i had a very hard time deciding between this and the nacho hat from the simpsons but i preferred the use of the hat's rim as the vessel for dipping substances speaking of which first up we need to make the sombrero into the bowl of a stand mixer we are combining 10 ounces each masa harina and all-purpose flour how do, how do i have two tablespoons how do i always end up on cooking videos but i have no idea how to cook and then i've got five ounces of lard cubed which I'm going to scatter across the dry stuff and incorporate by virtue of the stand mixer's paddle Oops. attachment. Okay. About three minutes on low speed until the mixture resembles Yo, what's up, temper? sand. And then I'm going to start temp slowly temporary. adding some that's, that's water. Definitely Anywhere from what's up, temporary? to 12 ounces, just add a little bit at a time. You don't want the dough to be too crumbly like this, but you don't I'm want to I'm new to the stream and YouTube, what's the deal with the red panda? Any significance or just a cool animal? It's just a cool animal. It's just adorable. Have you ever seen one, dude? They're so cute. Either. What we're ultimately looking for is a freshly popped can of play-doh kind of consistency ever so slightly crumbly but not gloopy or sticky it's nice Once seeing people do stuff you water, can't we're gonna knead it by hand for a couple minutes yeah that's a good point just until it comes together in a nice smooth bowl and then we're gonna press it out into a disc wrap it tightly in plastic wrap and fridge for at least one hour this is gonna allow the dough to relax and make it more easy to roll out whoop that wasn't a great toss andy you want to try that again perfect once fully refrigerated we're going to subdivide the dough and try to help develop its gluten there are three sort of facets to our sombrero, so I'm going to divide it into three roughly equal pieces, close enough, and then on a lightly floured work surface, I'm going to laminate these pieces of dough, which basically means I'm just going to roll them out into Ew. a long strip, fold it in thirds, rotate 90 degrees, and repeat the process. Gluten is normally something we'd want to avoid Ew. when making chips, Yo, Tibby, thank you for the eight months, one man. singular chip that is strong enough not only to hold its own guacamole, but to be worn as a fashion accessory. So go ahead and laminate each piece three to four times, wrap in plastic wrap, and then it's time to take a look at our sombrero mold, which as you can see, it's a bowl inside of a cake pan both of which I'm going to spray down liberally with non-stick spray. And then we're going to roll out the different parts of the sombrero. I don't, I don't think his name is Titty. Separate pieces, Maybe it's Titty. Sort of you could already this video is going to be crazy. You could already tell. I apologize in advance for my lack of knowledge in sombrero architecture. Wait, it's we're a tortilla chip? It's only a tortilla chip? Got, rolling it out as thin no as nachos? Possibly get it, cutting it into a shape as closely resembling a circle as possible, wrapping it up around a rolling pin, and then using our rolling pin to drape it over our greasy bowl. And then comes the meticulous art of shaping. When baking Making stream never says never hold over points and then once the bowl has become fully ensconced we have to press it down and try to even it out a job made much easier by whatever the hell this thing is i found it in a drawer and it turns out to be father. absolutely perfect for rolling and forming tortilla sombreros the next piece is the base of our brim which will eventually serve as our sort of guacamole moat once again, rolling this guy out as flat as I can, cutting out a circle in the center, which, once we wrap it up, once again, around our rolling pin... That's too much work. Look at this. ...fit like a glove around the dome of the hat. Uh, nice. And now we must both press this as evenly as possible into the bottom of the mold, trimming the edges and merging it with the bottom of the central dome, trying to make it as flat and as even as possible while repairing any rips. Next and last is the rim of the sombrero. Now, this is a 10-inch cake pan, which means a circumference of 31.42 inches, which means two two strips 15.71 inches long and about an inch and a half high. Of course, I did my math wrong somewhere and I ended up having to patch it a couple times, but either way, lay down the strips, press them flush against the walls of the cake pan, and press them down in the corner to merge with the base of the rim. And there you have it. You have at least formed a tortilla. Yeah, you trying to do a FaceTime cooking video slash stream. Degree Fahrenheit convection. I'll tell, we only go blind. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Hours. You try to copy me without seeing me. Darken just a little bit. <laughs> no shot. Cool for about five minutes. No shot. 
that's that happening. Pan, pop out the molding bowl, stand in awe of yourself that you didn't somehow destroy it in that process, and let it cool on a wire rack for about another hour. Again, this is going to help dry it out before we deep fry it, or at least our closest approximation of deep frying it. You see, I do not have a thing big enough to deep fry this in, so I'm going to treat it kind of like a porchetta, heating a whole bunch of oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and very gently and very cautiously, and with the full weight of the knowledge of what I am doing, ladle it over every facet of the tortilla chip hat. Boy, I sure do get to say some crazy things on this show. Then, once again, very carefully, we're going to dump out any excess oil collected in the brim. Once again, you should stand in awe of yourself that you've made it this far before draining on some paper towels, generously salting with kosher salt while it's still warm so that it does, adheres does and that, allowing to cool completely that work? about 30 <laughs> minutes, during which time we can make our guacamole. <laughs> we're going to need a not insignificant amount of guacamole for this hat. So I have here four large ripe Haas avocados that I'm going to cut in half and remove their Pits, and then I'm going to score their flesh with a butter knife for easier mashing. Once you have cut a cross hatched, this pattern, better be worth the hash. Well, that's what I'm saying. Spoon, rinsing and repeating with the rest of your avocados. Then, first and foremost, we got to hit these guys with lime juice. I'm using three limes, which is both going to add a whole lot. Avocados of are gross. Don't add me. Avocados from turning brown too early. I'm also going to add. I don't think. Whole, small, I don't think they're gross. I just don't onion, understand the hype. Whole, small, they don't have flavor. Jalapeno, ribs and seeds removed. They don't taste like nothing. Whole large, finely chopped cloves of garlic also a little shake or about a half teaspoon of ground cumin and a whole bunch of finely chopped green vegetal substance that's definitely cilantro it's definitely not parsley so that i can eat this and enjoy it i would not go to those kinds of lengths to deceive you and of course we have to add a big old all right here we go let's see salt it and a few this is where the juice comes in boys ground black pepper before realizing that our intended bowl is way too small and that we're gonna have to upgrade and they do if you add salt what do they taste like then salt <laughs> Mashing together with a fork until the desired consistency is achieved. I personally like guacamole with visible chunks, so I have targets to aim for. And with that, it's time to fill up the brim of Wait, you just fill up the whole hat. thing. Make sure it's evenly distributed, both for aesthetics and for the sake of weight distribution. Because what good is a no shot. Chip sombrero if you can't actually wear it? And this one is definitely a size and a half too small for me, <laughs> but it still does the job. It might not be no perfect, shot. It's my very first edible fashion accessory. To wit, let's see how it tastes. And you might think of the tortilla chip sombrero as a fun hands-free way to consume your favorite snacks. And while it tastes surprisingly good, it's actually dastardly difficult to practically consume. You have no idea what's going on up there. You're just sort of diving blindly, hoping that the hat doesn't disintegrate with every <laughs> crack, and that you'll find guacamole pater with every stab. That being said, it's the most fun I've had eating chips and guac in a long time. Oh my god. I don't really god. know how you would ever feasibly eat the center of this thing, and I don't care. It's a Cinco de Mayo miracle, and I just could not be happier with it. That being said, I know that one of my dear friends is going to be even more excited than I am. Yo, yeah, Weissman, how you doing? Baddies calling me in the middle of me making fries, dude? What's up, man? Oh. Yo, oh my god. He looks so, it's like a bowler that. hat, he's so cute. Yeah, it's like a pork pie it's hat. It's a bowler <laughs> uh, It worked out really well. It, the, the chip is a little thick, but uh, I wanted to show it to you and try to uh, tempt you out to, to come out to New York so we can do another collab now the world's getting back to normal. Dude, you know I'm already there, but if there's no sombrero hat awaiting me, then I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's like my, that's like the number one thing. I've fantasized about that for years in my sleep. No, dude. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for, for hopping in. I'm sorry that I don't have this for you to share right now, but uh, I'll have one waiting for you. Come to New York. I'll come to Austin. I'll be there. Thank you, Babish. I love you. Wow. So sweet. I wish you kind of just ate chips out of it, you know?